So you want to learn to shift the 13 speed Eaton transmission. Uh, here's what we're going to do. It's pretty easy. Uh, the shift pattern is set up like the 9 speed, but once we get into the high range, you're going to have a few additional steps. Other than that, that's pretty easy. Alright, so here we have the shift pattern. You can see you've got the high, low, reverse. You've got the greeny low. And then you've got the first, second, third, fourth. And then in the high range, we have five low, five high, six low, six high, seven low, seven high, eight low, eight high. So you've got uh, eight and four is 12 plus the low, 13 speeds. And here are how we're going to do it. So you start out like the nine speed. You start in low, low range. First, clutch in, second, third, fourth, select your range for high, and then you're going to go into five low, and here, this is the difference between the nine speed and the 13 speed, just this button right here. So right now we're in five low, what we're going to do is we're going to select high range, and let right now say we've got our foot on the pedal as soon as I take it off it's going to shift into five high and then as I'm going down the road I have my foot on the pedal put on the throttle I'm going to pre-select my low range because my next gear I'm going to shift into is either going to be five low or six low right now we're in five high as I take my foot off the throttle, I will go down to six low, and then I begin to accelerate again, so my foot is going down. Right now I'm in six low. I'm going to pre-select six high, knowing that I'm going to be accelerating. So once I choose to go into six high, take my foot off the throttle, put it back down, and then it will shift into six high. Now I'm in six high. I want to pre-select into, I'm going to go to seven low. So I select low, and when I'm ready to shift, I uh, just take foot off throttle, shift in, and now I'm in seven low. I'm continuing to accelerate, so I want to shifted my next gear is going to be seven high so I pre-select the range my foot is on the throttle in order to shift I take my foot off the throttle it will shift back into seven high as I depress the throttle again next gear I'm going into is eight low so I pre-select the range go down to eight low I'm now in eight low to go into eight high pre-select the range and when I take my foot off the throttle and depress it again, it goes back into 8 high. It's downshift, it's exactly the opposite. Pre-select the range, I'm in 8 high right now. I put it on the throttle. As I remove my foot from the throttle, it's going to shift into 8 low. And as I depress, it finishes shifting down. So I'm now in 8 low. to seven high so I pre-select high range because I know that either I'm going to slow down I'm going to go into seven high or I'm going to go into eight high so I know I'm going into seven high so I pre-select high shift into seven so now I'm in seven high I want to go back down to seven low so I pre-select the range take my foot off the throttle and it shifts down into seven low Next gear is going to be six high. So I pre select the range. I'm right now on seven low. I go into six high and I'm shifting down again. I want to pre select my range. So I go down to low. And either I'm going to go increase the speed, I'm going to go to seven low, or I'm going to go to six low. So I pre select that. Now that I'm driving, when I want to shift, I take my foot off the pedal. And then I depress and now I'm in six low. 
The only catch here is on the 13 speed, what I find the new beginners, they will leave their uh, high low range splitter selected in high and then they'll try to to go into low range here. It will not allow them until we select low range here and then we can go back all the way into the low range so we're now in fourth gear. And then again from here it's just like the nine speed. Let's look at the stick pattern. Third, second, first, and then if we want to, we go into low. So that's your few minute tutorial on how to shift up and down on the 13 speed. Don't forget to be in the low range to get into the low range over here. Again, it's like the nine speed shift pattern. Let's take a look at that one more time.